So just once again, as we start 1.5 here, volumes of right pyramids and right cones. The volumes of right pyramids and right cones are related to cylinders and square prisms. And uh, as you copy these out, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a cone inside the cylinder. Okay, so a cylinder has a square base and a square top. And of course, there's right angles formed with the, uh, you know, the, with the diameter of the circle and the, uh, the edge here, right? That's what makes it a right cylinder. So if we were to draw a cone inside here, you take a, the midpoint and of, the, of the, the circle on one face, and you'd sort of draw you know, a line like this. And the cone would sort of be this three-dimensional piece that fills uh, you know, the inside of this cylinder and looks like that. Right? So it's the same base, but meets at a point. And if we talk about a pyramid here, okay, so let's let's pick a mid, the middle point of this, you know, square top, and the pyramid inside this square prism would look something like this, right? I apologize for my freehand here, but that's what the prism inside looks like. Okay, now who remembers the volume of a cylinder? Who remembers the uh, formula for the volume of a cylinder, a right cylinder like that. Anybody remember offhand? Okay, now that's the surface area. That's the surface area. Uh, okay, that's the surface area of a cone, I think what you said there. So if we're talking about the volume now, that's how much space uh, the three-dimensional figure you know, would be inside that. The volume of a cylinder is pi r squared, which is the area of the circular base times the height. Okay? So any kind of prism, whether it's a circular prism, that's what a cylinder really is, it's a circular prism, okay? or a cube, which is a square prism, it's the area of the base times the height. That's what the volume is. So it's the um, uh, you know, if this is uh, side length L and side length L, so the volume would be then you know, L squared times H, or the area of the base times the height. Now that's for the prism. If we're looking at the pyramid, let's do the pyramid now in, let's, or the cone and the, and the pyramid now in red, okay? So we have, here's the pyramid, okay? Now I want to show you this video here real quick, and um, it's going to it's going to show you sort of what the relationship is. Okay, you may have a guess right now. Um, any guesses actually right now what the relationship would be? Would the volumes be the same, or or would the pyramid uh, maybe be a little less? Okay, maybe what'd you say? Okay, so your guess would maybe be about half if we took these two things, half, huh? okay. So something like that. All right, so let's just take a moment and watch, uh, watch this video here. Okay, let's mute it. Oh wow, this music is great. Okay, so we've got a cube there, right? And here is the pyramid that has the same size uh, base as the cube, okay? So here is the cube, there's the pyramid. And so he's, what he's doing is he's representing, you know, the volume of the pyramid, fills it kind of right up to the brim. He's pouring it into the cube with the same base dimension, see that? So Josiah's guess at, at one half, doesn't look too bad there, does it? But let's just see. So there's two. Anybody want to refine their guess? Okay. So if you put the uh, three pyramids in there, that equals one cube. See that? Yeah, let's arrange those. Okay, thank you. Okay, got it? 
All right. So that's that. Okay. We go back to our notes here now. So.